Hey everyone, this is going to be a video for two kinds of people. First kind of person is going to be a big Frank Sinatra fan, if you like Sinatra. But even if you don't, I think you may appreciate how many records I got here in such a short time. And there's, there's a lot of records here by Sinatra and different years and different covers, most of them in like great condition and some rarities. It, it should be very interesting, especially if you're a fan of Frank Sinatra. Well, let's put it this way. To start out, when I get into something, I don't just go in with, you know, one or two toes in the water. I dive right in. When I get into something, I get into it big, and I'm really unrelentless. That's what I did when I got into Connie Francis recently. I went to a lot of record stores and, you know, hunted down all her old records that I could find. And now I'm doing it with Frank Sinatra, who I've come to really enjoy recently. Um, well, let's start this way. There were two stores I went to, went to them in the same day. One of them is not my usual record store. It's a store that I go to maybe once or twice a month. And on the understock, underneath all the record bins, they have doors with uh, rows and rows and rows and rows of old albums by all kinds of people. Uh, classical music, Tony Bennett, Tom Jones, Engelbert Humperdinck, you name it. But also they have a whole Sinatra section. And uh, after that, so I picked some records from there. After that, I went to my favorite record store and uh, they did me a real big favor. They have a warehouse that's down in the basement. Uh, they have a separate entrance down there, and they were willing to bring up one box at a time. They had like four big boxes of Frank Sinatra records that are not in the store itself. And they bring they brought up one at a time. I was able to look through one. The guy was nice enough to carry it down the stairs and bring another one. I did four big boxes. Some of the records in there, i got to tell you, were all sealed. Sealed Frank Sinatra records that had never been opened, but they weren't anything really like really old of, of, of important vintage per se. Um, but they were they were still amazing to see, all sealed like that. They had like 20 copies of some of them and a lot of old ones. Uh, so this is what what's I'm going to show you stuff that I got from both these stores combined in no real order. Uh, I know I got this at the first store. This is a '78 album called. Uh, Songs by Sinatra on Columbia. Now, this wasn't in very good shape, this one. Had to clean it up a little bit the best I could. Um, you can see the bottom here. The records are kind of coming through their sleeves. Uh, I did check it out just to make sure that all the records were intact and not cracked. So I did that. And uh, there's several records in here. I... They're kind of, it's kind of frail, so I'm not going to go through them. They're ripping, they're ripping down and crumbling apart as I touch them, but that was a nice find to have. Okay, now we're going to go through the proper albums. Uh, last night, uh, I put them in the clear sleeves. So some of them, I'm, the first bunch I'm going to open up just to show you some things, then I'm going to leave them in the seal. Uh, okay, this is the album Ring-A-Ding-Ding. -ding. On uh, reprise. What's special about this album is, I'll show you the inside. This one is a white label promo. So that's unusual. Now I was told, you know, I've learned a lot from the people in my store. And also people who were leaving comments on past videos with Sinatra. And I found out that the desirable Sinatra records on Capitol are the ones with the gray label. So I found a bunch of gray label originals. Here's in great shape, pretty much. Uh, songs for Swinging Lovers. There's the cover there. And I won't open up all of them to show you the uh, labels because a lot of them are the same but here's the gray label and I gotta tell you when I looked down in the warehouse boxes and I was able to check them out these records look like they're unplayed these gray labels and I guess because I'm a good customer I get a different price which is really cool and uh, I'm not charged an arm and a leg for these at all so it enabled me to be able to buy a lot of records 
for a, a low cost. So there's that one. Then this one with a really nice cover. So many of these covers I really like. Come Fly With Me. This is also on the same uh, gray label capital, but uh, in great shape. But, uh, you know, I won't take all of them out, as I say. This is another gray label capital. This is from the movie High Society, where you had uh, Grace Kelly and uh, Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra together. That's on the gray capital label. This is another one that I have on the gray capital label. This is Sinatra Volume 2. This is in good shape. And uh, also the gray, gray label, which is the desirable one. I'm trying to find these in mono. And I want to say before I show any more, that's the enjoyment of this. I love nothing more than spending some time and being able to go to a record store and where they allow you to go through all the overstock that they have. You can find like 10 to 20 albums of the same vintage, same album, but you can go and you can look for just the right copies. You know, you don't just have to hope that you, you went to a garage sale or a flea market or a used record store, and if they had one album there, that's the one you have to settle for. I love being able to pick, and some of these uh, I really picked good, good from. This is Close to You. Uh, I forget if this one, yeah, this one's also on a gray capital in beautiful shape. None of these are scratched up. I was able to pick, you know, the best uh, apples from the tree, so to speak. Uh, here's Nice and Easy. I love the covers on these alone, you know. Here's uh, Frank Sinatra's Songs for Young Lovers. All these really nice, uh, moody covers. Frank Sinatra sings for Only the Lonely. Another good cover. And, you know, in, in every case possible, I mean, I tried to pick the monos. Because, you know, they had tons of stereos and tons of, and tons of mono. And I was able to pick what I wanted. Here's uh, Come Dance With Me. I haven't really been showing the back covers of these, I'm realizing. This one I didn't put in the uh, outer sleeve yet because it has a gatefold. The Concert Sinatra, this is called. It has a gatefold, as I said. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is sealed and never opened. For all time's sake, 1939 and 1951. I don't know if some of these were bootlegs or not, but uh, it's an odd album. Okay, um, this is uh, an album that I repeated. I got this because it was a UK copy. This is the Come Dance With Me Again. This is in good shape. It's a, a UK pressing with the border on it. So, uh, I like to pick up the UK presses, too. I got... This is Sinatra. Uh, I want to find... This is a, a pretty good quality cover, but it's not an original, really. You know, I'm looking for... A, I'm always looking for first presses. You know, it's very easy to find them, as I say. In the stores that I happen to go to, I'm very lucky that I have this, this uh, convenience to be able to find good stuff. Uh, this is Softly As I Leave You. Here's another one that's sealed and never was open. Sinatra, 1935-1970. Thrilling milestone, all-in-person performances from the career of the century. So, this spans a lot of different years. And it's never been open. Most of these albums were like five bucks. Some were under. Uh, here's one from uh, Columbia, The Voice. You know, I checked all the records. I 
pick the best records and the best covers. And in some cases where the cover was really nice, but maybe the record wasn't or vice versa, I uh, was able to Frankenstein them together and able to get uh, a great record with a great cover. Here's one in the shrink wrap. That's life. Sing along with me. Oh, swing, I'm sorry. Uh, swing along with me. There's a lot of them that say sing on it. So, And there he is with his golf swing on the back. <laughs> Somebody had recommended uh, Sinatra and Count Basie, so here it is. It might as well be swing. Frank Sinatra and Basie. Okay, uh, The Legendary Concerts Volume 2. This is another offbeat looking album that looks a little uh, unofficial, but I, maybe it is an official album. Here's another copy of Swing Easy, a really, really good shape, this one in mono. It's not an original, but somewhere in here I have an original which I'll get to. Hopefully I put it in this batch, because if I didn't, I'll have to make this video all over again, which uh, I see it. Okay. So, uh, live album Sinatra at the Sands with Count Basie and the orchestra. I left this one so far also out of the outer sleeve because it's got a gatefold. Okay, I have a couple of versions of this. Here's a nice mono copy of Where Are You? And I also have a copy of the same record from the UK. And this is a stereo one. So this is a stereo version from the UK. And how do we know especially that it's the UK? you can see so I got a lot of UK Frank albums even uh, from the past I was trying to debate whether I should make this my official Frank Sinatra collection and show everything I'll do that another time as I get more <laughs> but uh, here's one called to be perfectly Frank I like the title of that this is uh, from a radio show that he did and supposedly he sang every every show he sang once a song of his own. I think he was like a, a disc jockey or somebody who played songs by other people. It said on the back and then he would uh, sing at least one of his own songs. And this is, a, I believe, a combination of just the, the, the songs that he did. You know, I have to learn as I go. All right, here's an original copy of the Swing Easy that I was talking about before. Swing Easy, what's interesting to me is... Apparently, it's got an advertisement that says uh, it took this this record contains two complete albums. It's also got the the one that I showed a little while ago by Lamppost with him. It's really kind of weird, but uh, although I'm not going to take it out, this is on one of those gray capital labels that are desired, so that's good. Um, here's one: We Three, Frank Sinatra, Tom Dorsey. And Axel Stordahl, Stordahl, I'm sorry I can't pronounce, pronounce that name. I'm afraid I don't know that name. I almost sound like, uh, you know, maybe newer fans when they don't know who Billy Preston is or somebody like that. But uh, I'm not really familiar with all these. I know Tommy Dorsey. Um, here's one, Moonlight Sinatra in the shrink wrap. This is one that's not been opened yet. This is uh, it's in a pla it's in a plastic case, but when you take it out of here, the album is sealed and never been opened. Frank Sinatra, my kind of Broadway. Um, here's Days of Wine and Roses, Moon River, and other Academy Award winners movie songs uh, with the Nelson Riddle Orchestra.
Here's an album I really like this cover in the wee small hours and this one I'm pretty sure is also on a a gray capital I you know original label love this cover some of them are so frame worthy in fact I've got two of these albums uh, the other one's not an original but I might frame it and the last one I want to show here is something I showed on my other video but this is interesting and I didn't know it existed like this. This is the Frank Sinatra All Alone album. I was talking about how weird and freaky it looks to see Frank on there looking like a, a zombie. I didn't realize until afterwards I looked up some information online. I found out this actually is a crop version of a, of a larger painting of Frank Sinatra that Frank had in his own house. So he used to keep this painting in his own house and he used it part of it for the album cover. And what I like about this is this, I didn't realize it was a gatefold. Sure enough, um, the copy that I have before, I had two copies before. One is a Japanese pressing and one's a regular pressing. They're both a regular single jacket. This is a gatefold. Well, that's it, folks. And I really had a great time hunting for these, looking through them, picking the best copies I could find, matching up a good cover with a, with a good record whenever needed, and being able to show these to other people who might appreciate them. So thanks a lot for watching. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding.